As of 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Wednesday, September 6th, Hurricane Irma was still a Category 5 hurricane with winds of 185 miles per hour. Now, the minimum central pressure had weakened slightly from 916 millibars to 918 millibars. And that's simply because it passed over some small land masses as it went into the Caribbean. Also, the movement has sped up a little bit to 16 miles per hour to the west northwest the most powerful atlantic ocean hurricane in recorded history made its first landfall in the islands of the northeast caribbean early wednesday roaring along a path pointing to puerto rico the dominican republic haiti and cuba before possibly heading for florida over the weekend the eye of hurricane irma passed over barbuda around 1 47 a.m the u.s national weather service said residents said over local radio that phone lines went down. Heavy rain and howling winds raked the neighboring islands of Antigua, sending debris flying as people huddled in their homes. Officials warned people to seek protection from Irma's onslaught in a statement that closed with, May God protect us all. In Barbuda, the storm ripped the roof off the island's police station, forcing officers to seek refuge in the nearby fire station and at the community center that served as an official shelter. The Category 5 storm also knocked out communications between islands. Medes Francis of the National Office of Disaster Services confirmed there was damage to several homes, but said it was way too early to assess the extent of the damage. At the time of landfall, the maximum sustained winds were 185 miles per hour, according to the Hurricane Center. They also went on to say that the winds would fluctuate slightly, but the storm would remain a Category 4 or 5 for the next day or two. Now today, September 6, 2017, the models are all in agreement that the hurricane will head up the east coast of Florida instead of the west coast of Florida. Um, it's showing the hurricane making landfall somewhere uh, on the Georgia and South Carolina borders as it heads on up into the United States. And so as you guys have learned over the last few days that these models change slightly, but the difference today is that all the models are in agreement. Now that could change later before the storm gets closer to the United States. We all know that is very possible. The problem is there's still a area of uncertainty as to exactly where this storm is going to make landfall in the United States or what part of the United States, uh, as far as Florida in the East Coast, will this storm travel to. So it's very important that you pay attention, get prepared now, better safe than sorry. Check back for updates, guys. We're going to keep tracking this thing. Also, hit the subscribe button and the like button on these videos because, as I keep saying, we're being censored for whatever reason by YouTube, and they don't appear to be trying to do anything about it as I've contacted them and complained about this. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.